Good morning! Or good afternoon, good night, good whatever the heck time of day you guys are watching this video. <laughs> Lately everyone's been like, Jihan, where's your videos? Where's the notification? To be honest, I don't know. For the past couple of days, all I've been doing is watching Netflix and working. Not much to vlog. Today I decided that I'm gonna try something very different to what I usually do. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. <laughs> so tonight I've got an event with my dad. First things first, y'all see this forehead? It's very shiny, I know. One way for my forehead to be less reflective and it's not powder is face mask. I'm using the Formula 10.0.6 No Time to Shine Mud Mask. It's been about like five minutes, but this mask is like completely dry. So, gonna take it off. Before I start getting ready for anything, I'm gonna prepare my face. Teenagers, we don't get enough sleep and our eyes are always looking dead on the inside. I will be using Natio Renew Radiance Eye Cream. It's like a highlighter for under your eyes to make you look slightly less dead than you already are. I'm sorry guys, positive vibes. Positive vibes everywhere. Get my glasses off. Do you guys like my tan line for my glasses? It's amazing. Always tap under your eyes. You should be using your ring fingers, but I'm a rebel. Because your eye skin is very delicate, and your older self will thank you for looking after your under eyes. You'll see that glow, that... whatever. I'm using the, Nat the Natio Young for oily to combine... I dropped it! Ah! I am using the Natio Young Moisture, the oil-free moisturizer for oily to combination skin. This is like skincare with Jehan. I have no idea how to film like these beauty scenes and look elegant doing it. I'm sorry. My canvas is ready. Let's go. Step one with doing Jehan's makeup is take my glasses off. Because I'm lazy and I don't know how to match foundation to my face, I don't use foundation because I just don't know how to buy it. This is my first like beauty video and I already hit pan and there's no more writing on my thing. This is great. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just showing you what's real. So today I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Transparent. Because I don't use foundation, I just use it to make myself less shiny and I'll be using it with the Real Techniques buffing brush. Swirl it around in there, tap off the excess and tap it onto your face. My mirror is just below the lens so if you guys are wondering why I'm looking there, that's because of that. I tap it onto my eyes because my eyes get really oily. Awesome! I usually conceal to highlight under my eyes, however my face has gotten a couple shades darker and I'm not gonna buy a new concealer just for the summertime. That being said, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna put on eyeshadow because why not? I'm making a video. To be very honest with you, I have no idea how to do eyeshadow. I never wear eyeshadow. I'm using the Chi Chi Glamorous Nudes Eyeshadow Palette and because I don't know how to do eyeshadow, this isn't even a tutorial, it's just a get ready with me. So get ready with me. I am using Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and I'll be taking Taking that color as my base. Tap it in. Oh, tap off the excess. And go for gold. I'm gonna be taking this golden color right here. Just on my the same brush. I'm gonna take this shade, the slightly darker metallic, and I'm just gonna add it to the outer V with a blending brush. We're gonna leave it at that because I don't know what I'm doing and this isn't making a difference. I look very stupid right now. You always look stupid. Did y'all hear that? Okay. To try and make myself look slightly less stupid with this on, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I think I look so dumb right now. We're gonna be using the mascara that most other people use. Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm gonna get the meanest forehead wrinkles. I have no idea how to apply mascara gracefully. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't know how to film this without being so awkward. And now to move on to the best part of applying makeup is eyebrows. I'm using this spoolie that I stole from Lush. Brush your eyebrows, girls and boys. I know, I see you. I'm not gonna do an eyebrow tutorial because I feel as if there are some people in this world who can provide better skills and knowledge in this industry. I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and I'll be using the 317 Zoeva Winged Liner Brush. It's a very nice cute little brush like that. So much pressure doing my brows because there's a freaking camera watching me. Go for gold. Guys, 
<laughs> Do you see that? No! We good. Just rub it out like that. We're fine. We're not fine. Everyone's like, I don't see the difference in your eyebrows. Oh, honey. I do my eyebrows so that I've got something good to look at when I walk past a reflective surface. Not to impress you. <gasps> blocking off the haters. That boy. Did I say blocking off the haters? Or did I say blocking out the haters? <laughs> blocking off the haters. Hell yeah. Eyebrows are on. Haters are off. I don't like that, but I gotta roll with it. I'm sorry. And then to make sure that these eyebrow hairs don't go anywhere that they shouldn't, sitting with a L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. It's a transparent gel that keeps all your eyebrow hairs in place. Today for bronzing and contouring my face, I'm gonna be using Hula by Benefit. Comes with a cute little brush. Brush in. Tap off the excess. Go for gold, honey. Carve in those cheekbones and make it seem as if you've got cheekbones that you don't actually... <laughs> We're good fam, don't worry. Line up the top of your ear and make a quick line right down to your mouth and that's probably where you carve out your face. This step of your makeup makes it look as if your face is 10 times skinnier than it actually is. Try to make my forehead look as small as possible by making it as dark as possible. <laughs> Go under that jawline because ain't nobody wanna see a double chin. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. That's why I'm trying to contour it out. Because I'm not wearing my glasses, to me it seems as if everything's all blended in, but really, when I put my glasses back on, it could be completely different. To highlight, I'm using ColourPop in the shade Wisp. Because this is a cream highlighter, best used with your fingers, phalanges. With the excess that I have left over, I'm gonna put that down the bridge of my nose ever so slightly and blend it sideways. Boop. And then I'm gonna put the rest of it on the top of my cupid's bow. Now it just looks like I have a metallic lip. To make my upper lip look less offensive, I'm gonna be using my MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. My upper lip actually looks so offensive right now. <laughs> look at my glow. <laughs> That's my face. How do y'all like my face? I'm just gonna do a quick how to do your hair like Jay Hart. You're gonna flip your head upside down, grab it like this, like so, twirl it around, twirl it around your finger as you're twirling it around your hair, tie it around, ta-da! Quick outfit update. This is how I'm looking. Insert my shoelace of a necklace. I literally just got like a $2 piece of thread from like a craft shop. Innovations by Jihan. Ah! And we're about to be on our way. It's not even just hand wash. It's fine hand wash. This bathroom is insane. Check out this floor. This is too fancy for me. If I learn anything today, it's learn how to network because you get to go to things like this. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was something different. You guys know the drill. Like and sus- Ooh. You guys know the drill. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.